and a wire cutter. You also need a needle tool and knife tools. So once you have your piece of clay, you're going to put it down and we're using this surface because it'll absorb the extra water. And you're going to press down and take a little bit and move it down each time, making sure that this back part is always curved and not flat down on the surface. We're wedging the clay to prepare it for the wheel and to make sure all of the extra air bubbles are out. You want to see the different folds going down because you want it to kind of look like a monkey face so that you're pressing all of the extra air out of the clay. So once you're done wedging your clay, just make sure you put it into a ball because that makes it easier to throw on the wheel. Okay, okay, so now that you have your clay all wedged and in a ball, you can put it in the center of the wheel. Make sure you slap it down really hard so it sticks and it won't go flying. And you want to make sure that you use plenty of water when you first start out. And you can turn on your wheel and just hold your hands on the sides. Make sure you keep your wheel at a steady pace. Don't go really fast, but don't go really slow. And you're going to use your hands kind of like a butterfly. And you're going to press down with your right hand on the top. And make sure your left hand stays towards the bottom with your pinky always touching the wheel. And you want your clay to always be shiny wet with water so that it stays centered. So you can push it down all the way, and then bring it back up. And the reason why you bring it back up and down a few times is because you want to get the air bubbles out of all of the clay. Now why are you using so much water? Because you want to make sure it keeps centered because if you don't use enough water, then your clay will get sticky and like you can bump it off center. So like if I just like bump it, it's obviously wobbly and you want your clay to be nice and centered. Okay. And in order for your clay to be nice and centered, to know if it's actually centered, you want to look at it and make sure that it's not really wobbly. So like right now, the only thing that's wobbling is my throwing marks in the center. You can see like if I put my finger down, oh, yeah. that it's centered. Huh. Mm, it touch me. So once you have your clay centered, you can use um, either this finger or your middle finger, and you want to go into the center, but you want to go very slowly. And because you're going into the center of the clay to open it up, it's going to get a little bit wobbly, so you want to make sure you use more water and to go very slowly to go down and then pull out. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's so cool. Huh. And you always want to make sure you go back to holding your hands like this. So then the clay will continue to be centered and you're not getting a big lump from what you pulled up from the center. So you want to make sure that like when you get this like little lump right here, that you pull back down. Huh. And then you want to make sure that you leave at least a quarter of an inch of the bottom so then you don't go all the way to the bottom of the wheel. So in order to test that, you just use your needle tool and you can go down in the middle and that will not leave an air bubble by the time you're done. So that's why you do that so there's not an air bubble? Put the water on there? Yeah, well you always want to make sure you use more water because you also want to have a flat bottom on most of your, your bowls or pots or whatever you're making. So you can um, go down as far as you want, and then you want to make sure that you pull out more. So then you're getting more of an open, 
And then if you do get extra clay from pulling, you can just use your sponge and take that out. And then you want to have a flat bottom on your bowls or your pots or your cups or whatever you're making. So you want to take these two fingers and these on top and you want to go from side to side. Huh. And then that will create your flat bottom. <clears throat> and then you can push up a little bit. I know it's a little bit hard. Yeah. And so right now, this is just about perfect. It's completely centered, but the only problem is, is that it's really thick. So you want to pull up the wall so then you have more of a bowl. So you're going to use these fingers here and these fingers here, and you want to make sure you equally press on both sides, but only do a little bit at a time, otherwise it will get really off-center. And then always make sure to center the top again. Now you can keep going, but this is about a good thickness for this. Um, because if you have it too thick, it will blow up in the kiln. <laughs> because it won't be dry enough. But if you have it too thin, it'll wobble over and it'll collapse in on itself. So when you're completely done, what you're going to do is you're going to take all the excess water off of the bottom. And if you want, you can put designs in it with any of the tools that we talked about earlier. But in order to take it off the wheel, you're going to use this tool. And you're going to come in at the bottom and make a little indent. And that will be called the foot of your pot. And then you're going to stop. And you're always going to put down water. Because that will make it so it comes off the wheel easier. And now you're going to use your wire tool. And make sure you hold this really tight and you're going to go under it like this, this steady motion, and then you're able to slide it just right off the wheel.